coach, uh, firstly, great to see you back on the bench uh, at the weekend. Um, hockey aside, how's everything with you? Yeah, all good. Uh, feeling good. Happy to be back with the team and, uh, you know, back at it, uh, back in my comfort zone, I suppose. It was a long 10 days away from, from the group. Bit of a cliche question, but do you learn anything taking a step back from the team and watching everything on video? Um, I quite enjoyed the first weekend, the Nottingham uh, Dundee, or sorry, the Nottingham Fife weekend. And then it was a little bit the opposite, uh, the Saturday in Sheffield. So, but it, it was good to sit back and watch from afar and, and kind of see things uh, live unfold on video, um, you know, but obviously you, you want to be part of it. When we spoke uh, in the preseason press conference, you guys didn't, you know, you're a bit unsure how you would match up. You hadn't played any preseason. Seven weeks in, uh, how do you kind of assess how the, the opening part of the season's gone? I think we've proven that we can be a very good hockey team. Um, I don't think we've found quite found the the consistency level that we need, and maybe the intensity level some games, uh, and that's something that, that we're working on at the moment. But uh, we are. We have full belief in this group, and and uh, you know it's, we're just working through those inconsistencies right now, and, and trying to get better. Like every team that is in this league is a little bit inconsistent, and trying everybody's trying to get better right now. And it's the, it's the team that can find that consistency level the earliest, and uh, you know we want to be that team. The game in Sheffield on Saturday. I mean, no one wants to lose hockey games, but every now and again, there's a game like that just kind of helps to reset everyone's mentality of what it's going to take every night in this league absolutely yeah i think uh you know getting embarrassed like that uh hurts your ego and puts you back in your place a little bit and makes you realize that uh if you don't turn up if you don't start on time uh you know chasing a game is not fun especially in this league it's a very uh, competitive league that uh once you are down a couple it's very hard to the other team you know smells blood and, and wants to shut you out and, and makes it very difficult to, to get to the net to, to get back into the game so you know it's very important that you start on time here thinking about sort of the last couple of weeks for you Adam, you know lots of people can can work from home during this pandemic and the summer and, and everything said and players is a key part of your job and, and that's easy done from home but the actual coaching bit you know the hands-on bit it, it's impossible to do remotely so what, what was it like for you um having to try to coach um, from a distance? Yeah, I think obviously it was difficult because obviously you're surprised um, by the virus. Um, so it wasn't like something we were planning for. Um, yeah. And then obviously to go into that first weekend, um, you know, you, you sit back and you kind of obviously trust trust the, the coaching staff and trust the leadership group and, and the, the group in general that, they, that they're going to turn up and, and act as professional uh, as professionals like they are. Uh, and they did that. So it was great to see, um, you know, from there, we kind of got our, our footing a little bit in terms of the whole situation. And, you know, we had a few Zoom calls with the group uh, and myself. So from there, you're able to kind of, you know, at least speak to the group and, and do a little bit of video. Um, just to kind of keep, uh, you know, in, engaged with the, with the team. Um, and also, uh, you know, different voices from all the coaching staff is great. Uh, and we do that anyway. So, um, you know, it was good. We did as good as we could have with the, with the situation. Um, obviously, being back with the group is, is a lot more fun. And uh, being in the fight with them, you know, is, is a lot better. Were you able to do anything on game night and have any impact? Obviously, I was in. I was communicating with with Rob and, and Jeff um, and, and the players pregame, but um, you know, once once the puck drops, it's uh, you know, I, I don't want to actually interfere. To be honest with you, um, you know, no. coaches are very capable, and they have to make their their instincts and their reads on the bench and uh, coach the game. And, and I thought they did a fine job of that. And obviously I was communicating between periods and giving them my thoughts on, on the game and, you know, maybe things we could tweak. But uh, for the most part, you know, we have a very capable coaching staff and a very co capable group uh, and leadership group that uh, I have full faith in, full trust in. Yeah. Was it, was it easy for you to sort of go hands off, let the other guys get on with it then? Um, 
I would say the, the, the Nottingham fight weekend, yes. Um, but uh, obviously Sheffield, you know, I, I, I didn't think I could get as, as angry or as uh, emotional from my couch. Um, but, uh, you know, luckily I spared my TV that night and, and the remote. So, um, but, you know, again, it was... Um, you know, just a frustrating night for our for our team in, in Sheffield, and uh, obviously not the way we wanted to start the game. But uh, I thought what was important was the response the next night. I thought we competed for a full sixty. We didn't execute quite as well as we would have wanted to, but um, we certainly competed for that. And, and uh, you know, I commended the players for for coming back and competing for a full sixty the next night and, and getting the win. Yeah, you didn't wake the baby with the screaming and shouting or anything on Saturday night. Uh, no, um, she, she was awake actually watching, so he didn't feel like just going like walking the dog or anything like that. No, oh, well, I wasn't allowed out, so just give me a word on, on Scott Conway's contribution so far. He's he's hit the, hit the ground on him big time, and it must be great to have that coming from from a British player, albeit he's a sort of different type of, of British player given sort of where he went to and coming back. Yeah, I think, you know, Scott's been a target of ours for a few years now. Um, you know, was waiting on him, the availability of him coming into Europe. And obviously the fact that I got to see him with Team GB at the Olympic qualifiers firsthand, um, you know, helped in terms of make, make those decisions. But, um, you know, when he became available this summer, he was certainly a guy we set our targets on right away. And, uh, we knew that if we could add a, a player of that caliber, it certainly helps with the depth in the lineup. And I mean, he's been a, a great player for this team right from the time, the moment he got here. He, you know, he's not just skilled; he competes really hard. He cares about uh, each detail of the game. He's very knowledgeable. Uh, he wants to get better, and, and these are all things that we look for as, as coaches. And uh, obviously, the success that he's having offensively is, is great. And um, you know, I'm very happy for him for that, but also defensively, he competes really hard in practice. He's, you know, he, he's tracking back real hard and he's, he's leaving it all out there for the team. And, and that's, uh, that's all we can ask for as coaching staff. And, uh, he, you know, he provides a great example. His background, you know, there are similarities, a few, a few anyway, with, with Colin Shields. Do you see him having as big an impact on the Belfast Giants as Colin Shields did? Well, that's a difficult question. I mean, uh, obviously, Colin was here for, I don't know how many years, but certainly over 10 years. So um, it's hard to have that type of impact uh, that Colin had. Um, but, uh, you know, in short term that he's been here, he certainly had a massive impact on this group. And for us to have further success this season, um, we anticipate that he's going to have a big impact for us throughout the entire year. So, um, you know, he's, he's been a great addition to the team. And obviously really impacts that depth uh, that we're looking for. And just with the change of the fixture this weekend, going down to just one game, is there a, is there a change in psychology when they've just got the, the one game? Um, you know, some people would suggest that it's a positive and um, it should be a positive from an energy standpoint. But, you know, my experience as a player and as a coach, you know, the other team has played the night before. They're, you know, they're they're kind of in the groove, and you're you're sitting at home waiting, waiting to play. And I think that sometimes, if you don't start on time, you know, uh, you don't come ready to play, or or you you know, the other team can kind of get off to a good start because they're they're, you know, they're I guess they're in the momentum of the weekend, and uh, you're just starting yours out. So we're aware of that aspect of it, but um, you have. To look through that and you got to turn up and and you know use the added energy that we should have um as a result of not playing the night prior so uh we want to go in there and, and and put together a solid 60 60 minutes and compete real hard i think that that's the focus this week is you know we want to be uh, we want to be matching or outworking the dundee stars um you know and then from there we think that uh, our possession and, and, and skills can kind of take over, but uh, we certainly need to compete with them and we need to be as physical as them. Um, I know there's a long, long way to go already, sort of in early October or early November. Um, how important is it not to let Sheffield get too far ahead at this stage? 
I mean, uh, there certainly looks like what would be a front runner in this early in the season, uh, given you know the threats that they have offensively and some of the results they've been putting up. But you know, if you've really paid attention, they've had their inconsistencies as well this season. Um, and you know, we have some games in hand that we need to make up, and and uh, we just want to continue to get better each game, and and then you know we'll see where we end up. Uh, you know, in the future when some of the games and some of the games played have, have evened up, evened out. But, uh, you know, our first focus is is on ourselves and getting our consistencies, inconsistencies uh, control, in control of those and making sure that uh, we're the same team every week and we show up. And just finally, the last year and a bit, you know, so many people have been working from home, maybe, some of maybe liked it. Some of maybe felt a bit isolated from from colleagues. And that you're in a, in a very different environment. Um, how much has the last couple of weeks made you appreciate sort of what you do and the environment that, that you work in with with a lot of other guys and the, the camaraderie that, that comes with that? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, it's certainly being a coach of a any sporting team is the next best thing to to being a player on that team. Um, you know, it, it certainly has more challenges uh off the ice but um you know to to sit back at home and watch the group have to go on the road and, and play you, you want to be a part of that and um you know so so yeah it wasn't fun sitting at home watching that uh or even just the practice week not being involved and not being a part of the group and um you know that that's not fun so um to be back to work now and being part of this group and and getting to converse with these players and, and, you know, try to get better with them myself. Um, you know, that's, that's where it's at and that's where we want to be. So yeah, we certainly won't be taking it for granted and it kind of also, you know, gives us a, a little nudge into a reminder that, uh, you know, at, at any point uh, you can go missing for 10 days. So uh, we need to be doing our best to, to try and keep that at bay and, and uh, be responsible away from the rink.